may get lucky like Puerto Rico and get little to nothing from Dorian. But since the exact track of the storm is so uncertain, we have to prepare. Governor Ron DeSantis has declared a state of emergency in Florida as communities get ready. And this is what getting ready looked like tonight for lots of people at Costco in North Miami. It was more like a rush hour traffic jam than a store parking lot on a Wednesday night. Let's go to Hank Tester in Doral. He has a look at what's happening in Miami-Dade. Hank. Well, this is a waiting game, and of course, the uh, county and city officials want to get out ahead of the storm. They're telling people, be prepared. Some folks certainly took that message. They were out and about tonight buying gasoline and looking for water. Let's take a look. Gassing up and getting ready for Dorian. Not long lines yet at this local gas station, but steady. And you hear a lot of this. Okay. I'm going to stop here and then go to our grocery to buy some waters and to be prepared. Longer gas lines at the Costco in North Miami, a hint of things to come. I came to Costco to get gas just to be prepared. Unfortunately, the line is to the street. Folks now stocking up for a hurricane. This at Sam's Club in Doral. Well, there's a lot of lines in the back of the store for water. Um, I saw the, the gentleman moving the, the slats full of the Vienna sausage and people reaching over to grab it. Reports from throughout the Miami area of a run on bottled water. These folks leaving the store empty handed. We came for water, but they didn't have much of anything inside at the moment. Yesily says she'll come back tomorrow looking for water. While people were prepping for a hurricane, city and county officials reminding constituents they need to prepare, have a plan, especially if there are evacuations. Now is the time, if you don't have that plan, put that plan together. The city of Miami uh, will make a decision on Friday and inform the residents and uh, our employees as to whether or not we're going to be opening our emergency operations center and when that emergency operations center will be open. And gassing up, purchasing storm supplies, hurricane in the area and on the street, are those folks ready? Do they have a plan? Nope, absolutely none. Um, we're just going to see what happens. So that's, uh, that's about our game plan. I feel like everyone should be prepared and getting their things straight and we should just be as prepared as we can be. Well, Mayor Jimenez says that there'll be another press conference tomorrow to update everybody on the status of Hurricane Doran. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back to you.